All right, going to look at um, an important part of the uh, digestive system now, but it's an overlooked one, it's bile. Um, and this is a liquid secreted from the liver, uh, or synthesised in the liver, I should really say, um, and then stored in a little little sack called gallbladder, and usually this sits behind the... Um, behind the liver so you can't usually see it and then coming out from there is what's called uh, the bile duct which is a tube so duct in biology just means a, a tube that something moves down um, and this would if I put in sort of where the uh, stomach would be the stomach could um, I've got my sizes very good here so the stomach would sit behind the the liver um, and then the stomach goes into the first part of uh, the small intestine. Now the technical term for this is the duodenum. Now you, you know, if you call this a small intestine you'll get away with it. Why is it different? Well remember that the um, what's coming out of the stomach, this substance called chyme or chyme, I prefer chyme but I keep hearing chyme so we'll go with chyme, um, which is a kind of, imagine it like soup I suppose, um, sort of a, a sloppy lumpy liquid um, and be quite acidic because there's the hydrochloric stomach acid mixed up in there. Now actually um, the duodenum in a similar way to the stomach has got a, a lining of mucus and that prevents the hydrochloric acid from uh, burning it. Um, now what we need to do is to neutralize that acid. Now there are actually um, chemicals from the stomach something called bicarbonate which is a base, um, and that will neutralise some of the stomach acids. So some of that is produced from the duodenum, some is actually produced from the pancreas, which is sort of sitting here. Um, here's the pancreas. Not drawn this very well to scale, the liver should be much bigger, but you get the idea. So there's the pancreas, um, which also empties into, has a duct, pancreatic duct, which empties into the duodenum as well. But that will produce bicarbonate, which will also help neutralise the acid. Now, some of the bile, bile itself, um, is actually slightly alkaline, but not that much, maybe pH 8 or so. Um, so it does have a role, a slight role in neutralisation. Notice with an S, if you see it with a Z, um, it's fine, it's just the American spelling, just in case you see that, the, the, the British spelling is, is with an S. So it does have that little role in uh, neutralisation, but probably the more important role is emulsion, ooh, which I can't spell, <laughs> apologise, emulsification. So you could talk about it emulsifying, or that it emulsifies fats. Okay, now it's probably easy to see this, um, so I've brought a little prop along, <laughs> a little prop. This is, um, highly complex prop of a, a glass of water. Um, I'm just going to add into here some um, lipid, which in this case is an oil, vegetable oil. Now if I pop this in, what you should see hopefully is it'll form little bubbles, okay, well not bubbles, these little droplets, and what they do is they start joining together. Now this is a property, or it's to do with the properties of um, lipids and water. Water um, if you've done that experiment, I'm sure you have, where you, you get water to bend by putting um, like a charged piece of plastic next to it and you, you can make a stream of water from a tap bend. Water is charged. Um, we would say it's a polar molecule. It's got um, a positive and a negative um, charge on it, if you like. Now, oils and lipids are not. Uh, they're non-polar, so they don't actually get on with each other, water and lipids. Um, what the lipids are doing here, I don't know if you can see it brilliantly well on the camera, but it's formed one, two, three, four, basically five big blobs. In fact, if I give that little uh, a little nudge, they might even join together. There we go. So it's like the um, the fat wants to stick to with with the other fat molecules or the other lipid molecules, and it's formed that nice big. Uh, you can just about make it out there, so a big circle of fat floating on the top. Now, what emulsification does is it breaks that large um, blob, if you like, of, of fat up into smaller blobs. Okay, now, to use that, I'm going to use uh, just wash it up liquid. And if I put a few drops in here, 
and you can kind of see straight away it's had an effect um, now although the washing up liquid is going to give it a gentle stir is, is what we would call a detergent chemically it's doing the same thing that bile would do so can you see now um, again I don't know if it's picking up brilliantly well but rather than it being one large blob what we've got now is lots of much smaller uh, blobs so we would say that it's become emulsified it's working at the level of these um, charges in the water and in the um, and in the lipids uh, why why bother doing that what's the point um, I'm covered in vegetable oil um, it gives you rather than um, rather than sort of having a big um, blob of fat we break it down into smaller pieces which gives it a larger surface area and that's the key to it because oh sorry got off the bottom larger surface area the enzymes that are going to break this um, lipid down which are lipases produced from the pancreas are going to break our um shouldn't have done it that way what am i doing it's because i'm talking trying to think at the same time it's a lipid lipase the enzyme goes on the arrow and it's broken into fatty acids and glycerol if you imagine this red these little red dots are my my lipase you can't get you know, these, these bullet enzymes, they can't get into the middle, they, they can only sort of attack the outside very slowly, but here they can get all the way around these little droplets. Because there's a larger surface area for them to work on, um, they can digest more quickly. Now it is possible, and some people um, have problems with their, their gallbladder, things called gallstones, and they can block this, this duct up. Um, some people have it removed, surgically removed, or and if it's not working for, for, for disease reasons. Now you can survive without it. The problem is you are not as efficient at digesting fat. So someone who had problems with their gallbladder would probably be best off having a low fat diet because otherwise you would not digest it. And if it's not digested, the small intestine, the later part of the small intestine cannot absorb it, which basically means it leaks out the other end, um, which is, is not gonna be comfortable or pleasant. So the emulsification is the key part to what bile is going to do. Right, I'm going to wash my hands now because I'm full of oil. But then I'll come back and I'll do um, a video on the small intestine.